Hi, I'm Brian Charles of Charles Double Reed Company, and this is a video on how to pack your instrument for shipping so it doesn't get damaged. So I'm going to show you today using a bassoon, although this counts for clarinet or flute or oboe or any other instrument that uh, breaks down into pieces and goes in a case. This is a Fox bassoon. Fox makes excellent cases. This one really doesn't have a lot of uh, uh, problems, but there are some shifting areas here, and that's what we want to work on first. You want to make sure that inside the case itself, nothing is touching each other and nothing is shifting around. So. To start off with, I'm going to take a look underneath, and in uh, bassoon cases, there are vocals often on the bottom. We want to first put down something to stop the instrument from touching the vocals. Uh, bubble wrap will work. Newspaper might work. But in this case, I'm just putting that down. Make sure that those vocals are uh, locked into place before you do this. Now, taking a look at this, the boot joint is moving about. Um, if you imagine a UPS driver uh, picking up this box later and uh, moving it, uh, say, shall we say, quickly from side to side in the truck, uh, it's going to go back and forth like this. So we want to stop that. I use, um, I use newsprint. You can use newspaper. This is just newspaper without print on it. Um, and just putting enough on the edges, on the side, to stop it from moving is really all that's necessary for that. Um, this one's moving around too. This one I might choose bubble wrap for because there's just a lot more space to make up, but just as long as it doesn't move around too much. I don't like that. Now on the bassoon we have a particular issue, which is that the, uh, the two joints often touch each other in the case. They're lined up next to each other like this. And these can rock back and forth and they can cause a lot of damage. So you do want to get something in between those two. Now a thin piece of newspaper like that, it can make a big difference. It's okay, but um, you probably should go a little further. Even just two pieces sometimes makes all the difference. Some people like to put cloth in there, that'll work. What you don't want to do is have so much in here that you have to press the case down. Um, other things that are in the case, remove them if at all possible, unless you have, like Fox has here, where they have a, a raised uh, a border, and that means that all this stuff is, because of the fuzziness up here, is all going to stay in there. It's not going to move around. But if you had a screwdriver or something that got loose in here, it could get jammed in there, it could break things, it could um, rip pads up. So take everything out of the case that isn't secured down. So at this point, we can test it. Close the case up, and just imagine that the instrument is now in a truck. If you shake it, and you hear the joints inside moving around, then you have to open it back up again and find out what it was that was moving and make that secure. So you're going to need an appropriate cardboard box. Uh, you can usually get that at a pack and ship place. Sometimes you can find them you know, from uh, a store that, that uh, will let you have their old boxes. Um, this particular one is at least two inches um, larger than the case that you're going to pack on all sides. You don't want to have a form-fitting box. You want to be able to have some movement inside. Now, when it's time to get this box tightened up, you want to have at least a couple of strips along the bottom here. And then, if you put tape across in an X pattern, it's a trick I learned from UPS. Apparently that's a very strong. Um, I guess it's the triangles. But in any case, we've been using that for years and it seems to work pretty well. Uh, you can tape up every edge of the box if you want to. Uh, if the box is going to go through water, these edges are really not going to matter. Um, the whole box is going to get wet. So just make sure that it's taped tightly. Okay, now it's time to put the instrument in the box. Okay, so taking your instrument, measure it first, make sure, yeah, this is going to fit. I'm going to put it down this way. I want to put a layer of something down first. And we use, here at Charles Double Reeds, we use this kind of popcorn -y stuff. You can also use bubble wrap. You could use newspaper. 
or other kinds of paper, but if you do, make sure that you crush that paper really hard so that it doesn't flatten out. Now, once you put a base layer down, put the instrument in there, and you can see it's got a couple of inches on all sides. We're going to fill in the rest of this with the popcorn. Okay, now that it's filled with popcorn, you want to make sure that it's a little bit above the top of the box so that when you compress it, it's going to hold that instrument in place. And here's another important point. Um, at this point, uh, we would love it if you would please put a note in the box. So you can put your letter right here with your name, address, phone number, email address, any other information you have on the instrument, and tell us why it is that you're sending the instrument. Sometimes we end up with three or four instruments a day, and um, you may have sent it to us for repair or for us to sell it. Uh, just tell us that, and this way it'll go much faster in us contacting you after we've received your instrument. This part's pretty straightforward. Just push it down, get it all together, tape it up, and address it, and this instrument is ready to ship. So when you ship an instrument, insure it. Insure it for what you think you should get in case it's lost. We haven't had a loss in a long, long time, but still, it's better to do it that way. My understanding is that UPS will handle things very carefully if you insure them at $5,000 or above. So if your instrument is worth more than $5,000, definitely insure it at $5,000. Um, also check your homeowner's insurance. It's possible that you're covered for that kind of insurance uh, through insurance that you already have. If you have questions or comments on how to ship or pack your instrument, please feel free to contact us. You can find the in contact information right below. And uh, I'm Brian Charles for Charles Double Reed Company, and thank you very much for your attention.